Hello and welcome to the next video. So now that we have assigned a rule file for our buildings, the next one we can do is vegetation. So I mentioned earlier there were two ways to use rule files for vegetation. One of them was to set the rule file for a polygon of vegetation, such as a forested area or a small copse of woods or something like that. And the other one was for individual trees. And the reason is we've got two rule files down here in the esri.lib folder. So under rules, under plants, we've got a plant distributor and a plant loader. And the simple way to think of this is that a plant distributor distributes trees throughout an area, so a polygon. A plant loader just loads an individual tree onto a point. Now, if we quickly look back at our data, we'll see that we've got these polygons for um, what we're going to represent as a forest, and then we've got these individual points. Now, I've loaded all my data into City Engine. Uh, here we can see that polygon, but we can't see any of the points. Now, this is another um, little feature of City Engine, is that it doesn't really support points. So when we do bring in point data, uh, it is represented as these tiny little squares. It's just another thing to be aware of. Okay, so in exactly the same way we set rules for uh, the buildings, or assigned rules for the buildings, we can do that. So we can just click on... Uh, the forest i could select all of them but i'm just going to select uh, one for this example and because this is a polygon drag on the distributor and not the loader so we'll bring the distributor on we'll let it um we'll let it render some trees and see way we can see some trees it defaults to these giant redwoods so uh unless you're modeling an area such as california you probably want to change that and again on the inspector window on the right hand side we can see all these different settings so we can just flick through the different styles have a play with those each time you do it just give it a second to load um, get these blue lines on when it's selected but when you click off of it these will disappear he says there we go uh, and with it selected we can just click through the different options um, with that lovely mouse click and see all of those for some of them we can change the heights if we've got it custom we can change the heights we can change it from large species dominant to small species dominant um, we can go down to plant and change some of the the default styles okay so it's useful just to go through all of these options some will only work uh, with other options so maybe some of them work with custom etc uh, etc et Okay, and that's that one. So have a play with that. Get it as good as you can for your area. Again, it doesn't have to represent the, you know, the, the real world 100%. They're just representative. Oh, what one, one was going to mention? Here we go. Uh, so these are the realistic trees. We can also set them to schematics um, or fans. So again, that's probably going to, depending on your graphic card settings or how powerful your system is, uh, you might want to have a play with that as well. See how they render on your system. So that was for an area, and then for single points, I'll just go ahead and uh, select these. So that's all of those selected, so they appear now. We can oh, we'll assign a rule file. So up here, this is the third way to do it. We can go rule file, assign, and I can just navigate to my esri.lib folder, go to rules, plants, and then plant loader. I think the default one is always an orange tree, so we'll give that a second to load. And sometimes if things don't load instantly, we can press this generate button. A bit like hitting refresh or F5 in a web browser. Uh, and that's just gonna make those render. And there we go. So again, we've got a huge list of trees uh, that we can flick through. So you might have to do a bit of research and find the tree that's appropriate for your area. Uh, and you might have to thin some of them out. And again, we should be able to change from schematic to uh, fan. All the different start types, change the heights and just get it to look as realistic as possible uh, for your area. Okay, so that was trees. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for the next video.